Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to talk to you about the new proposal. Should Splinterlands receive liquidity pool rewards for our contributions into the pools? Specifically on SPS ETH and SPS BUSD. Now, on the face of it, absolutely we should receive our contributions because we are participating in the pool. But this other side of the coin is that if we refuse use our rewards which we currently are not receiving rewards well then theoretically those pools become more attractive from external investors and maybe that brings fresh people and new eyes to our community let's talk about it today i'll share with you my opinions and my thoughts and i'm visited by skeeter on this one so thank you skeeter for hanging out the other day before we go any further though guys check out splittercoach.com five bucks a month you can track your personalized battle history that information is fun to look at and helpful I'm uh, continually shocked by some of the number of wins, certain certain cards that get the most play and the most sort of win rates. And so it's interesting to see how cards like Dr. Blight, expensive though it may be, to me this card is an absolute necessity if you're here for the long haul, if this game is interesting to you. This card plays in so many games, 500 games over like 1900 matches in that time. And this one's played, played in 500 of the matches. Yes, it's expensive, but it fits in so many contexts. So if you're serious about long-term investment within Splinterlands, this data tells me this is a card that you must have. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Thanks guys for your time and attention. Have an awesome day. Uh, yeah, we'll just start from the top with the LP and the DAO proposals. Mm. Uh, I'm not really sure about all of this proposal that much. Uh, so we want to get the DAO to be able to stake their assets so then they get like their 20 percent return or whatever what are like the downsides of that is it taking uh, yeah. rewards from everyone else or yes yeah exactly very concise and 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 quite accurate from what you just said there first of all i'll tell you there's there's already 100 million people who have said yes 73 percent or four 27 against it's only, it's one day in that's a lot of voting for the first day um, so there's some big voices that have stepped up and said yes and some big voices who stepped up and said no but I'll click on the proposal and I'll, and you essentially nailed it. The idea is that, you know, there's a, if we go to on Splinterlands, we go into pools, the SPS BNB pool right now, it's on my screen is currently paying out 45.74% APR. And it's got $800,000 liquidity in it. Now, some of that liquidity is ours. We've actually put that in there to to essentially we did we do that because practically we, we want to create a scenario where people who want into sps or into bnb need easy entry and exit points from our ecosystem the the, the presumption was i think that that is adding value to our game and economy because we were creating entry points and exits for interested parties and theoretically that should uh, help bigger dollars come in and out and and i that i i agree that's probably i think that's probably a fair synopsis of why we would do it and then i think it's a good thing that we've done it but the question now becomes should we claim that 45 percent uh, apr because currently we are not we are doing it strictly for the benefit i just mentioned and the proposal says that we would hmm the proposal says that uh, the SPS DAO is providing liquidity and not being compensated for the services it is providing. Liquidity positions are a risky investment due to the potential of impermanent loss. And I don't know if everybody knows what that means, but in a nutshell, when one when you put two tokens to an, into an LP and one goes up or down, it affects the the proportion of which the, of your access to the other token. So, um. I don't want to go too much down that rabbit hole, but it's essentially it's one of the ways that the investment you put into a pool can change radically in its distribution. And maybe that's good or bad, depending on your views. But people uh, so it's one of the concerns that comes with putting money into a into an LP and the Dow should not be risking its treasury and not be compensated. So he goes, I propose that the Dow be given its share of LP rewards for the SPS BNB and the SPS ETH. And he says the top goal of the SPS DAO as outlined in its white paper is as follows. Token holders may vote to use some foundation tokens to provide liquidity for a token pair 
and other popular tokens on a third party market such as Uniswap, PancakeSwap or Hive Engine. This may also allow fo the foundation to earn revenue for its form of liquidity provision. He's he's by quoting that he's trying to make a point that like the uh, the white paper sets out that we're we have a voice on how we use this to earn revenue. And it's like this is our quote unquote our money because we as SPS holders are the owners or the beneficiaries of the SPS and the value in that DAO. So we should want to be good stewards of it is what he's essentially saying. And the interesting thing though, to, I guess, let's read his final thoughts. Actually, he goes, we cannot let the interest of the investors seeking an ROI cripple the ability of the DAO to function in the future. I don't know if I agree with that sentence, but let's keep going. These two LPs are low hanging fruit since only a small portion of investors liquidity is involved. Hmm. The 10% uh, are are taking and the 100% of, uh, so the 10% of investors, like the small amount of people are, who are investing are taking 100% of the rewards. And I would urge members of the DAO to consider taking this further um, with implementation of DC payments for Rift Watchers and the DAO has, over, has accumulated over 10 million DC in a short time. We now have the opportunity to significantly increase our stake in DC SPS, ooh, and DC Hive. I will not propose that here but this needs serious consideration to build upon this goal. So does that, do you feel clear, a clear idea of what the situation is and what the hope from this proposal is, Peter? Yeah, thank you. I'm just kind of worried about what's the percent change in the ROI if this was implemented right now for these liquidity pools. Yeah, it would if be, anyone knows that. it would be big. So let's see here. Um, because right now it's at, so right now it's at 45% return and that's 800 grand is in there. So hang on. Then he goes, there's gotta be a, these pools pay too much. The Dow could be banking $20,000 a month in SPS. Um, that's, a, Sounds good. that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. This is not only better prepares us for the future, but significantly reduces the supply of SPS that can be sold every month. Hmm. Okay. So. I definitely see benefit here. We, we would be stacking SPS for our ownership, for our DAO. We would be deterring the sale of that in a sense, because we would be holders of that. Um, we could, and as he said in the final thoughts, we could, we could theoretically take the SPS and DEC that we hold, DEC from Rift Watcher Pack sales and SPS from, you know, the this, uh, this LP provision pool uh, reward. And we could put it into the DEC SPS, which is like a pretty solid, you know, there's another return there. So it's like compounding on compounding. I think it's, it's, it's probably prudent is where my head goes, because we do need to prepare for our future when there's no more new SPS. And what are we going to do? How are we going to fund, you know, uh, validator node operation? How are we going to fund new projects and et cetera? How are we going to, cause we're going to get to a place where Splinterlands, the company is essentially a contractor that we hire with DAO funds to execute different visions. That's where this will one day get. And I do think, I do think it's prudent to do something like this, but the downside is that you, and I don't know how to answer your question exactly, Skeeter, you asked like how much would it go down? I don't know how to answer that, but it's, I'm thinking significantly. Like I talked to, I talked to um, Steve R82 the other day, and he said, if we, if this proposal passes, he thinks it's going to be, slash in half is what I think he said roughly. And that's a guesstimate, but you know, does then what does that do? What are the unintended consequences of, of a, of a strong drop in the APR for this pool? Does that mean some of this liquidity dries up? People pull out their funding from it because they don't want 20%. They want 45 or nothing at all. And, and what does that do for our on ramps and exit points for SPS holders? And does it kind of close a door with the Binance people? I don't know. I, I don't know the answer to these questions, but I see them as concerns, let's say. Yeah, I mean, I think that after watching that Steve or video you recommended, uh, the 45% APR or return on investment seems pretty unsustainable. And we get attractive investments with just 20%, 25%, 15%. I mean, that seems a lot more sustainable i don't know i guess there's higher risk for it mm -hmm. but also kind of for it as well mostly for it because it just increases the runway for the team they don't not forced to sell as many packs 
uh, and it's like a, a maybe if we get the big money to come in, it's not like a for sure thing, but the for sure thing is that we get 20k a month to help yeah. pay for salaries and development, all that stuff. And that just seems like a positive thing. Yeah. I think I'm for it too. I'm, this is, this right here is like me thinking this through. So I'm, I'm really appreciative that you're here today. Cause it, I was looking at this and I'm like, I don't know. I don't know where I land in this, but I do think I, I think I have to say what you just said, which is that from a prudent standpoint, you know, like just thinking like long term, and, and although the Dow wouldn't necessarily pay for staff because it's our money, it could pay for staff because it's our money. We might say at one point in the future, we want to hire a permanent community member, uh, community. What did Bulldog used to do? Community oversight or something like that. Um, and you could imagine the Dow saying we will allocate 10 grand a year for a part time, you know, community or, or something like that. And it comes out of Dow funds. That's 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 theoretically possible. And and we, therefore you want more value in there, not less. And I think what I've been saying about SPS for a long time, too, is that part of it's part of the excitement and holding it to me is not just that it's an interesting token with with, I think, flywheel mechanics that are, are exciting but actually that it's part of an ownership, almost like a decentralized ownership stake coin that allows me to influence an economy and a game that I think are meaningful and like really important and revolutionary. And so I want voice in that creation, in that process. And so that the attractive conversation around like SPS becomes more attractive if there's even more DAO over which for us to provide insight and oversight like if we have 20 million in there it's one it means one thing to have a five percent vote on the on how we spend it if there's 200 million dollars in the dow and ju i'm just using dramatic numbers then it becomes so much more important to hold sps big stakes to have to control how that gets allocated and so i would argue it's a sales pitch for our token that the dow be a thriving um war chest so i think i'm a yeah hmm uh, i mean i'm for it it just seems like you know it's free money for us and you know outside investment's great but i always hear about people talk about how that investment outside big money could be there just for a little bit so you know they would probably leave shorter than the average you know like committed player to so yeah. I don't know. I'm just more for building the community and our own ecosystem instead of, you know, trying to get some big dollars in the game right now. You've convinced me. I'm voting yes. Not that it's going to 200,000 SPS is not nothing. We're saying, yeah.